These juicy, chubby pot plants are known as succulent plants or fat plants. They're distinguishable by their striking and unusual appearance. The unusual-looking plants have recently become an unlikely hit with young people across China. Ma Rei is just one of many who have become obsessed with them. He's been keeping succulents for 13 years. His shop in Jinan, the capital of East Shandong Province, has been transformed into a kind of jungle, courtesy of his vast collection. Many people prefer keeping plants that can easily survive. Therefore, succulents are ideal types to keep. I like to think of them as a kind of plant pet. I decided to buy some of these plants because they are pretty and easy to grow. Today, I have come here to get some advice from the boss. While chatting with Ma, he often mentions a man by the name of Ah Mu. Ah Mu has become famed as a fat plant expert. He's even published two books, which teach beginners how to take care of their succulents. Ermo's book is very professional. It also has good instructions for beginners who want to master the skills of raising succulents. Armu is actually just a nickname. His real name is Xiao Jie. Xiao's first book has become the fat plant bible among succulent fans. He currently has more than 90,000 followers on Sina Weibo, China's Twitter-like social network. Xiao lives in Weihai, a coastal city in East China's Shandong province. His house is filled with over 300 succulents and his balcony a succulent jungle. His passion for succulents all started three years ago. The first time I saw these little plants, they were like candy to me, very colorful. They had all kinds of shapes like bunnies and beer paws. It was love at first sight. Since that moment, Xiao has continued to add to his collection. Succulents look cute all year round, and their colors change during different seasons. They have thousands of varieties that create different looks. Succulents also take up very little room, which makes them perfect for white-collar workers to grow either at home or in the office. It's easy to keep succulents. Every blade can grow into an independent plant. You just add it to the soil and bury it, and it will quickly grow roots. Although they're easier to grow than other varieties of plants, each type of the fleshy fat plant requires individualized care. Xiao said that it took him a long time and effort to master the skills of keeping them. Yet he's enjoyed every step in the process. I love them and have great fun feeding them. Xiao runs a shop on Taobao, China's eBay-like e-commerce website, on which he imports girls' hair accessories and headwear from Korea. All the money he makes he spends on his beloved plants. He spent almost all his savings on succulents, leading his parents and wife to become quite concerned. They were dead against my hobby in the beginning, because it required a lot of money and they thought that I was wasting my time and money. But gradually they changed their minds. Xiao later opened another online shop, which sells plant-related products such as soil, tools and flower pots. However, he doesn't sell plants. I just want my plants to stay healthy and beautiful. If I make money out of them, I have to focus more on breeding. I can give advice to those who want to keep and sell succulents, but personally, I'm not interested in selling them. In the past two years, Xiao has published two illustrated books. His books have become popular due to his detailed explanations and clear illustrations on each plant. Xiao's next goal is to build a greenhouse especially for his darling plants. He says that the house would ideally be located by the seaside and will cover an area of 100 square meters. I want to make it a showcase greenhouse. I also hope it will become a platform for fat plant lovers to communicate and exchange ideas. It would be wonderful if we can make friends with others who also love keeping these plants.